Welcome everybody. Welcome to the fourth round of the GT Winter Series here in the sunny south side of Spain, here in Valencia. Today we're going to be qualifying, which is in about 10 minutes time, so I've got to get going soon, followed by two sprint races and then of course the hour endurance. The GT Winter Series debuts in Valencia, with around 45 cars crowding the famous MotoGP track in Spain. More and more spectators stream into the grandstands as the promising qualifying starts. The field of Lamborghini Super Trofeo in the Cup X class has grown since her ref. The qualifying starts and the Lamborghinis turn out to be the main competitors for most GT3 cars because of their higher top speeds on the straights. Jean Glurio had quite a moment in his Aston Martin GT3 but could still manage P3 in his class. Ahead of him were Kenneth Heyer in the Schnitzelalm AMG GT3 and the Engstler R8 LMS GT3 Evo. Gabriella Jilkova seems to get along well with her new Aston Martin GT4, but in the second qualifying, CV Performance managed to get an even quicker lap time with Simon Prim in the Mercedes AMG GT4. Qualifying was super good. Gabi had a super, super stint gemacht. Uh, P2, but it was not much from P1. So this race will be very interesting. It yeah, was very good. Uh, out of pull. The guys have a good job. It has been good. Angefühlt. Just two hours later, the grid is filled by a great variety of cars and drivers waiting eagerly for the green lights. As the safety car pulls out, all eyes are on the R8 LMS GT3 of Team Engstler leading the group. The race begins. Engstler gets away as Axel Sardingen in the AMG GT3 loses his position to Artem Petrov from VSR in the number 16 Lamborghini. Sardingen fights back and overtakes the Super Trofeo again. Tom Fleming shone in his Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo as he rushed from 8th position to 3rd. The race then got to an abrupt end by a red flag caused by a collision between the number 101 Schnitzelalm AMG GT3 fighting for the second place and the number 54 Rosso Corsa Ferrari driving out of the gravel. At the end, Engstler gained a solid lead of over 30 seconds, followed by Artem Petrov and Andrei Lewandowski, both in Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeos. Yeah, uh, more than zufrieden. Das zweite Rennen für mich jetzt mit Aston Martin, mit ProSport und direkt P1. Man kann sich ja nicht mehr wünschen. We won the category for the Ferrari Challenge cars and we finished fifth overall. Unfortunately, there was a lot of crashing and a lot of incidents during the race, so it made it um, very intense and it made me very nervous because I didn't want to crash my car as well. The second race of the day, the quickly repaired Schnitzelalm AMG GT3 and the Pro Sport Aston Martin GT3 lead the field for this race. As the lights turn green, both Super Trofeo Lamborghinis benefit from their higher top speeds and leave the GT3 cars behind. An early end to the race for Wang, driver of the Team Engstler Audi R8, as he ended up in the gravel due to a collision with the number 33 Huber Porsche. After a short safety car period, the race goes on, with plenty of action ahead. In the Cup 2, the number 110 from Phoenix Racing could get in front of Dustin Blattler in the number 21, who normally doesn't see another Cup Porsche in front of him. Kenneth Heyer in the number 101 AMG GT3 and Darren Loom in the M4 GT3 from Team Schubert managed to stay in the middle of the Super Trofeos and had thrilling fights. end, Michael Fisher from 78 Racing Team blasted over the finish line with a one second lead in front of Haier. The safety car was zwar nicht für uns ideal, weil wir konnten in der ersten Runde gleich einen Gap herausfahren. Der war dann natürlich wieder weg. Uh, the restart hat aber trotzdem funktioniert und wir konnten dann im Prinzip das Rennen, um, ich sage jetzt mal kontrollieren und am Ende dann zwar mit knappem Vorsprung, aber doch als Erster über die Ziellinie fahren. Ja, sehr aufregend. Ähm, durch die unterschiedliche Klassenstruktur ähm, hat der Lambo uns natürlich direkt beim Start erstmal gecatcht. Da bin ich wieder auf fünf zurückgefallen, habe mich dann wieder auf zwei vorgekämpft und wieder an den Lambo hingearbeitet. Aber auf den Geraden war gar keine Chance, da was zu machen. Die Autos waren ja offen. Äh, mich hat auch gut, äh, gut verteidigt in den Passagen, wo ich dann dran war. Also ein guter zweiter Platz, bin zufrieden. Äh, war ein guter Auftakt jetzt. Ja. 
in beautiful scenery, the endurance race of this weekend is about to start. Axel Sartingen leads the field into the 60-minute racing thriller, while Engstler manages to defend his position against the Lamborghini of Andrei Lewandowski, and even takes the lead in the first turn. Behind the competing pack of Super Trofeos, the KTM Crossbow GT2 from RTR Project had intense battles with the Pro Sport Aston Martin GT3, and ensured plenty of action for the over 5,000 spectators. During the race, lapping and pit stops were mixing up the field and lead to strategic decision-taking of the teams. Luca Engstler came in with a solid lead, passes the steering wheel to Wang, who now has to defend their position against Haya in the number 101 AMG GT3. After one hour of racing, the Team Engstler R8 passes the line in front of the VSR Lamborghini Super Trofeo and the Aston Martin GT3 by Pro Sport Racing. FF Corsa managed to get both Ferraris in the front of the Cup 1 class and Cup 2 was led by Johannes Kapfinger. The track is amazing. I mean, it's very technical and I feel like it levels the playing field as far as competitiveness goes with uh, the other class of cars, but it's amazing. Incredible. So uh, I took the car over after James Owen and he uh, yeah, kept us in position and I was able to get us up to second place. Yeah, it was a good day for us. Um, now in endurance we could the last place and with Dylan. He's natürlich super happy. What an exciting weekend in Valencia. Next stop for the GT Winter Series, Circuito de Navarra.